First of all, put the work in. Second of all, have confidence that the work that you put in is going to pay off. We met up with Colin Danes, an Olympic wrestler with a long history of titles and championships. Colin represented Canada in the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta. Advanced to third round action. That's Colin Danes of Essex, Ontario. A winner in the second round. A graduate of Brock University, Colin Danes has spent his life studying, competing, and teaching wrestling. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna change. Develop which one feels best for you. Play around that a little bit. Which foot do you like to bring forward? Which arm do you like to drag, right? Right foot forward. I can drag this side, hit the body lock. This side, oh, oh. At, at the highest levels, uh, world-class levels, everybody's fit, everybody's fast, everybody's strong. Uh, who's going to win the, the event is the person that be, you know became most mentally prepared. Well, wrestling's been around for, you know, they have record of wrestling being around for over 15,000 years. So when you think of it in terms of that, these techniques have uh, withstood the test of time. Uh, we're looking at some sports, maybe mixed martial arts or UFC uh, gained popularity in the early 90s. Uh, so we're looking at a, a few decades of uh, techniques. When you go to the World Championships or Olympic Championships, what you end up seeing is the basic moves done to perfection to, uh, to win the competitions. It's usually not uh, some fancy uh, you know, sort of unorthodox moves that, that make it work. Uh, it's the ones that have been around forever. Single legs, double leg takedowns, the, the simple stuff. You know, in wrestling, there's, there's not submissions, but there's sort of joint manipulation to make the takedown work. Uh, that's kind of an unseen thing to the, you know, to an untrained eye. You don't know exactly why he's, uh, the guy's going to fall down. It's more than just grabbing a guy's leg and he falls down. You know, you're manipulating the joint. You're in a scramble, and if you can manipulate that joint properly, the guy has to lay down for you uh, so that he doesn't hurt, his, hurt himself. You've got to test yourself in all the different levels, strength, speed, flexibility, power. Uh, mentally and emotionally, you, ha you have to be prepared. Uh, if, if you're not, if you haven't handled the emotional part of competing, uh, to me that's 99% of the game. Uh, you can do all the physical preparation that you want, but if you're not, if you haven't put yourself in that state and done your imagery and your visualization of what, where that event or competition is going to take you, uh, then you're not, you're just not as prepared as the guy that ha that has done the mental work. Colin Danes is an expert in weight cutting and conditioning. The amount of work and dedication it takes to compete at a world-class level or on the Olympic stage is incredible. When I was competing in the Olympics for Canada, I would regularly lose 20, 22 pounds and I was only walking around at 5% body fat. So I didn't have a lot to lose, it's a lot of water weight. And then, of course, in that sort of state, dehydrated state, when you're working your ass off, um, you're, you're not willing to surrender yeah. to the weak sort of conscious. You know, you're basically operating your, your body as a, a fine-tuned machine. So the cleaner the fuel you put in your body, uh, the better it's going to run. Uh, that's how I see it. Every time I stood on the mat, um, in whatever country I was in, it was just a real special moment for me to, to know that I was representing uh, Canada. An awesome experience. The Olympic Games was absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, I was uh, at the opening ceremonies. I was about 10, less than 10 feet away. Uh, Muhammad Ali ran past me with the torch. Uh, it was just a sea of camera lights, and it was completely mind-blowing. My life has been completely different because of sport, and the sport of wrestling has changed me uh, forever, and certainly for the better. So uh, I'm just really thankful for the sport, actually. It's been a good ride.